but we are getting the bank transition. That was a much better bank transition up there. What's up everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit and we are here on a very wet, rainy, thundery homestead for the next round of SSR. We're going to be talking about um, anticipations and what to expect. So we are in our V8370Z as we are locked into this car for the remaining portion of the season. But the livery is going to change for the next round and uh, it's going to be very wet on the competition. So. We're going to go run through real quick what I think about it and uh, get sideways and try and run some practice runs in here. Big thank you to uh, I, Tane and Maddie for uh, helping me out with the tune for this wet and rainy session. The bet most interesting part I think about the next round is going to be the qualifying is going to be somewhat in the dry. I guess you would say it's going to be storm clouds, fog, but not wet. And then the competition is actually going to be raining. So we got to get used to the rain as we slip slide away. So basically a real quick rundown. We are going to be starting on the uh, white lines over there running a 50 roll till pretty much here. And then we're going to be initiating on the rumble strips trying to catch the inner clip there. Pushing it all the way out to the outside clip. And then transitioning through basically a power alley into here. And then we're going to try and get as close as we can to this strip. That strip, and then we gotta follow the cone line up to the bank as close as we can, basically to that green marker. So there's gonna be a hard transition um, up the bank, and I did find out under some practice that if uh, I'm at too much of an angle, I kinda um, bobble a little bit. So we're gonna try and get some practice and make sure we can get a good feel for the car for the wet. I was doing some uh, tandem practices yesterday, and. Uh, He's doing pretty good. Was able to get some doors and uh, have a little fun, but uh, it's definitely going to be a very interesting round being in the rain. It's going to make or break a lot of drivers. So we're going to just run some practice here in our V8 370 and uh, see what we can come up with. Ooh, already uh, losing traction. Going to power it up. 50 roll it. Shift it in. Hard flick in. A little would have been like to be closer to both of those, but we're just trying to get a feel for this. And see there, I was a little bit shallow and definitely don't want to spin out. It's a very interesting track, to say the least. It's going to take a little bit of practice and a little bit of uh, fine tuning on the suspension and get it right. If you didn't notice, I did change my uh, dashboard behind. We do have a nice blue display now. Uh, still with our red shift light, which is not as bright as before, so you guys can still see it, but it's not overpowering where it's getting rid of all the imagery, you know, information made. Our speed a little bit larger, our RPMs a little bit bigger, and stuff like that, just to help in, uh, you know, quick referencing of uh, speed and everything like that. So, like I said, it's going to be a very wet SSR run, but I'm kind of very excited for it. And hoping to do well, so that's a little bit better. A little bit better. We took out the cones, but we got to make sure we try not to take those cones out. I'm not sure if that is actually out of bounds or whatnot, but it's going to be very interesting to be running this track in the rain in tandems because, well, brakes are a big thing. They, they don't really work too well in the rain a lot. My braking pressures that I have been running and practicing with may have to get changed. I may have to switch to a little bit different of a pressure than I'm used to because, well, I'm locking my brakes up a little bit easier now. And I don't want to uh, lock up my brakes and slide into somebody in tandem and totally screw up my tandem run. So, fine tweaking, Addy and I and uh, a couple of the guys from uh, Usual Suspects are uh, working to try to get this tune very dialed in. Was a much better entry right on the edge there we go quick handbrake corrects my angle there we go just a tap on the wall so that transition up onto the 
bank is definitely going to make or break a lot of drivers and I'm super excited to see what this round is going to entail because this is uh, this is definitely uh, a fun one for sure and I'm kind of really glad that I'm in the 370 because it seems to handle pretty well in the rain other than it kind of unsettles a little bit on some rumble strips but it seems to handle that bank transition pretty well. We may switch up and go back to the S14 and see if I made the right choice of going to the 370 for the remainder of the season or if uh, that uh, S14 would have been a better choice. But so far, I'm definitely loving my 370. It's quick, it's uh, stable, it can stay in tandem pretty well. That was a very bad initiation. Didn't snap the angle as high as I wanted to. But we are getting the bank transition. That was a much better bank transition up there. So let's switch it up cars real quick in this very wet, interesting course. Now, like I said, qualifying is going to be in the somewhat basically dry. So we're going to have to basically practice that to make sure we get um, the best qualifying run to make it into the show. So we're going to bring back the old S14 boss with the original livery from round one. And uh, see if this slides any better oh god this car is super 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 loose and i am not sure oh and it does not handle that bump very good it doesn't handle the bump very good the gearing is a little off i may also bring out the uh, fc that I ran last season for one event that got me that, you know, the SSR bug, beating my buddy T. John and going against my teammate Anthem and all that. So this one looks like we're going to run in third gear here. Second gear, roll it out. A little bit wider than I want it to be. Oh! very uh, shaky on transition so this track is going to be very interesting to say the least so I hope you guys are excited to see the SSR content the continuing endeavors of me trying to get my ESDA license so that I can bring out that C5 vet which uh, there's been a tune change on it and it's uh, handling a lot better now because a couple guys have been helping me work on tunes for my comp cars to get them more stable and uh, more comfortable at 900 degrees because I will always and forever run 900 so even when I'm in comps we'll never go lower so it's something that I'm always going to do so trying to compete in 900 degrees against people that are running lower degrees bit of a challenge but I'm up for it and we're uh, doing pretty good as of right now so those uh, rumble strips get super slippery Too much, too much angle and too much slide. So 370 is definitely still more comfortable for me. We're gonna bring out the FC and uh, try that one just to end this episode off. So if you guys want to keep seeing more SSR stuff like this, let me know down in the comments. And as always, I appreciate you guys coming back and uh, supporting the channel and supporting me. Got some big things coming, big things in the work. Hopefully. Uh, could bring that to you guys very soon and uh i'm super excited for a lot of it so hopefully that stuff comes into play so let's bring back the old fc with the original red paint on it from when we uh ran one run last season the angry rotary with that boxy boy gang on the back for uh tus ranga little boxy boy gang on there Not sure what gear this car is going to need. Probably third. Yep, probably third gear. So, like I said, it's going to be a very wet, interesting, and very fun event. I can see a lot of collisions, a lot of contact. So, I will let you guys know when it's actually going and when I'm on there. So, you guys can come watch it live on Twitch. As well as get all the recaps from my runs and my point of view. 
on the channel. Oh, too much in the grass. Trying to get more people to watch the competitions live to see oh the art of this. And uh this FC is definitely not a good candidate for the rain right now. Glad I'm not actually in this car. I'm sure I could tune it to get it to handle better. But it is not a it's not happy. So one of those clutch kicks though. So as always, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed this little talk about SSR in the next round. A very wet one, I've said many times, but got some new liveries coming for the 370 for the next round, and uh, some new main sponsors on the car as well will be coming for next round, so make sure you guys stay tuned for all of that. That's a pretty nice transition. Hit off lock. Ooh! That, that transition up there is really hard. So as always, I like to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the track.